Uh, red eyes is the only clue we have to the rest of this unfolding story. Oh, crap. <laughs> better than they got. Welcome back, my oodles and oodles to more Baldur's Gate 3. So excited to get started. We kind of left off on a little bit of a cliffhanger. It wasn't really a cliffhanger. It's just more like we keep going further and further into this deep gnome area looking for, uh, I want to say he's the leader. Last episode, I was a little confused about how, how things were transpiring. There's someone who's trapped in the rubble, but there's also someone we need to go remove their heads. It may be one and the same person. I'm ha I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around the conversation and the dynamic here in the deep under dark. Well, let's go ahead and just jump right into the recap. If you haven't been keeping up since setting out towards Moonrise Towers, we chose to travel through the under dark. And ever since arriving in the under dark, there's been just a bunch of things happening and a bunch of creatures we needed to kill. So some of which involved helping a mushroom picker, defeating a bunch of Dwegar intruders. We assisted a Myconid colony of fungi. We killed a Myconid usurp usurper named Glut, and are now currently on our way to freeing the Grim Forge gnomes. We also got one more set of instructions from Sovereign Spa to remove the head of the drow named Nier. Then him and his colony can live in peace in the Underdark. And we like Sovereign Spa. We are now, what was it called again? I can't remember what it was called. It was something spirit we are now oh spirit kin we are spirit kin to sovereign spa but if you guys haven't forgotten yet our main quest of course is to find a cure to the mind flare parasite that lives in our head and that is why we are on the road that we are traveling through the underdark to get to moonrise towers and hopefully figure out some more information about the parasite and that's kind of where we are i think there's this like little tiny puzzle here i'm not all too much sure oh wait 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 split don't follow me. Get me to go over there and get me to go over up, maybe? How am I supposed to get the rest of my team over here? I hope this isn't just like some trap. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a trap. Oh, there's blood. I don't like being over here by myself. Broken shackles. I see tracks there or footprints. That's worth a look. Oh God, footprints. What happened here? It's hard to make any sense of this mess. What? Okay, so I, I I failed a survival check. I can't make any sense of what's going on. At least something hasn't attacked me yet. I'm gonna need to get my friends over here, but I don't... I don't know how they, we can. Let's get this opened. Seems sus. I don't like that. What's the dormitory plaque? Come, all who are weary. Sleep and forget. Okay. So it's a sleeping quarters. I'm just off on my own little adventure. <laughs> I'm just over here doing stuff without my team. It's fine. Oh, this is a war map offers a detailed plan of attack with the village of Moonhaven encouraging soldiers to kill in merciless silence. Okay, so there are some bad people down there. Are, there are they bad people or am I just crouching? You know, this place doesn't look good. Skimitar mold. Oh, I like that. Oh, God, what is this puzzle right now? How do I get my whole team to be in on this? Yeah, I need the rest of my team here. I mean, just kind of going off on my own little adventure. Can I throw something on here? I can. I can activate levers just by doing that. That's very interesting. So now my whole team's over here. Going through the double doors now. Now that I have my whole team. Oh, uh, Sharon Inquisitor. Harper Key. Undelivered message. Uh, Master Catheric, my whip has finally coaxed some particulars from the captive Harper to wit. She revealed the location of her stockpile. On a rocky overlook, I investigated, but found the chest in question is a, is trapped. Any attempt to open it might break its contents completely. Okay, we gotta take note of that. Any attempt to open it might break its contents completely. The spy refuses to reveal how to open the chest, even under threat of death, only crying, look splenda, with every lash. Some type of watch word no doubt. The interrogation continues and again, please accept my most humble apologies from for my earlier oversights. Rest assured I will not misidentify any more of my fellow Sharans as spies. May they walk forever in the shadow. Or in shadow. Can I ask Shadowheart if she knows what that means? That drow, near is going to be on his last gasp unless someone digs him out. Though not necessarily our concern, of course. Can I give her the can I give her the note and then she can tell me like what it means? So what if we have Shadowheart read this? Okay, no, she doesn't she doesn't inquire anymore. Does anyone else have just like an overabundance of scrolls? 
Let shadow fall where the light doth. Oh, sorry. Let shadow fall where the light doth creep, and silence cloak the din. Let blackness blackness into lost hearts seep, and bid our lady in. Behold Shar, who shades our path. Behold Shar from O Ao born. Behold Shar, the primal dark, our goddess of night. Behold. Just a bunch of jargon to me. So far, so far we have not found anything super. That, like, um, that needs our attention. Tarnished silver key. I also have many keys, along with my many scrolls and potions and stuff. Oh, a shield. Shield mold. I keep giving, um, Karlak our, our molds. So far, Karlak, ha Karlak has a longsword mold, a scimitar mold, and a shield mold. And I've only got adamante, I've only got, like, two adamante slags. So I only have more questions than I do answers. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, uh, yeah, was not expecting there to be company in here. Hellsbore, uh, legionnaire. Let's attack the legionnaire. So these guys have just been in here for how long? It seems like they've been in here for a long time. Easy enough. All right. Weird. So why were they in this room though? There doesn't seem to be anything else in the room. It's just a room full of hell spawn. Weird. Okay, I do think I get the puzzle now though. Come on, Shadowheart. You can make it up. There we go. Okay, let's see if this works. So I'm going to hit the levers here. Oh my. I don't know if we want to be this far down. Let's do that again. Make our way all the way over here. <laughs> oh no, maybe we did want to be that low. Can I make it from all the way over here again? How am I going to get back? That's that's the question I'm I'm having. Oh, maybe I... Uh, I, I get... Okay, hold on. Now I'm too low. Oh no. <gasps> Can I get it? Okay. Oof. They really built this out really well. Oh, this stuff looks bad. Team, I'd like you to group with me, please. Come, come. Oh, they might not be able to because you have to go prone. So now I can jump on. <laughs> okay, I, a waypoint discovered. I made it into somewhere. At least we now have the sigil. Oh, a forge overlook plaque. In the fires and raise it in the mistress's name. Hmm. Scribbled note. Must find new resources nearby mithril veins are near depletion and the quantities required for Brother Solovus's most recent project were considerable. Some of the acolytes have taken to calling it grim for the place it was made, though never within Brother Solovus's Sil hearing. Oh. I keep picking up these molds. So far, nothing crazy has happened yet. Aside from, you know, getting weirdly ambushed with those uh, hellspawn. Dusty book. Praise be to the Lady of Loss. She has uh, through... Wow, there's a lot of reading. I don't think that matters. Ooh. What is that? Wait, there's a person up there. There's a couple of persons up there. You guys didn't think I would see you. Uh, yeah, they, they're not good guys by any means. Oh, ooh. Animated armor. Oh, that's what they are. Okay. Huh. Dude, that looks so sick. Centuries of blazing heat have smoothed away the plaque's inscription. This looks like a massive boss room if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what's spookier, going down there or what. Let's uh, let's let's attack these guys, and we can come back to this spot because now we have a portal. Um, that that was actually kind of a godsend there. Damn it! Huge! Ooh. Another mask. Okay, I'm get picking up a lot of masks. Okay, I'm gonna have to save here. I actually have some plans tonight, but I'm gonna see you guys in just a second. It's only gonna feel like a second to you. I think I'm gonna two part this one. <laughs> so I'll see you in just a second. Good to see you again. I know you just saw me, but for me today is a new day. We gotta go ahead and wrap this up. I, we made it to this this forge area. I mean, that's that's exactly what it looks like. And it's, 
Got a forge plaque, so I don't know if I'm ready to approach whatever is down there. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and circle back because we found a portal. I really don't wanna go too far. So I'm gonna circle back and talk to whoever needs aid under the rubble. I've also had a right to be confused at this point. Oh, hello. I don't know why I missed this. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Run, 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 run. Okay, I was gonna say, I had a right, I have a right to be confused or had a right to be confused because one of you guys summed it up perfectly. I thought that every one of these deep gnomes were, I thought that everyone was part of the absolute, but only some of these deep gnomes are absolute worshipers and some of them are not. So it is the true soul that's under the rubble that I need to kill. So that's what I thought originally, but given that I was giving getting mixed signals from one guy and then another girl, I was very confused with that. But I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, finish up you know, rescuing whoever's underneath there. I can't tell if that's going to like make it so that I have to start fighting everyone around me. So I'm a little, I'm a little concerned about that, but we'll figure that out as we go. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one, but enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never going to manage with pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. A shiver runs through you. Your mind is awash with ancient resentments. True soul. Hmm. What do you think, Kerr? Should we take Nier's debt off her? Nier's debt off her? Are they talking about my my parasite? Why would you think I'm a true soul? You want my gold, then you'll have to fight me for it. Don't. Oh, they want my gold. Okay. Don't be absurd. I hate these true soul cultists. So I'm going to use my knowledge to say that these guys don't like the cultists. They don't, they're not wearing the mark of the absolute. Only some of them are. I want near out and it sounds like you have a lead. I ain't parlaying with more twat souls. And you got the stench. If I didn't know better, I'd say a mind flayer shat a worm in your brain. Well, how would you know that? Just split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. A stench? Ridiculous. I'm no more true soul than you are. The shiver returns. This time it's colder. Sharper. The stench don't lie. You're one of them. Fine, I'm a true soul. What do you plan to do about it? Deception, you're imagining things. I would never bow to the absolute. I was a true soul. The cult lied to me. Now I want revenge. I could do either of these, these either deceptions. It's cool that I have the favorable beginnings and I didn't realize that my profession, my proficiency in deception was pretty good. It's just, it's hard because these are both deception. I wonder if both deception routes lead me to the same down, lead me down the same path or they're going to give me completely different answers, but they're both deception. I was, and now the cult lied to me. Wow, that's great. Okay, that's enough though. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Let's just narrowly miss on our first roll of the day. Hmm. Revenge, eh? In that case, I got a proposal. Want to earn some gold? I like that one minute he was like, hey, I want your gold. And then all of a sudden he's like, mm, yes, do you want to some gold? I will pay you. What gold? I thought you hadn't been paid yet. Depends. What do you need done? If you're offering me a job, I'm not interested. Please, I've already got more coin than you could carry. Yeah, let's just go ahead and alert them that they could rob me. <laughs> I thought you hadn't been paid yet. Yeah, let's do that one. Ain't my gold I'm offering. It's the true souls. He's just not, he's not going to let us have that. There's no way. Glory. That's why she's got those slaves digging for Nia. But we ain't need glory. Just coin. And Nia's got plenty. Help Thryn free Nia. Then you and my chums grind him up. Whatever the spoils, we'll drop you a fat cut. You in. They're not going to. I know, I know this game, okay? Your buddy already tried to do that to me with the with the brute uh, animals. He he roped me in, said he was gonna give me a reward, and then he cut me out just like that. I think it's gonna happen the same way. They're gonna help me free near, kill him, and then I'm gonna have to fight my way out of here. Uh, in that case, let's just do a rogue persuasion then. Ooh, oh that's cool. I can see both, I, so I can see the story aspect and the persuasion aspect. I have advantage because I am a rogue and I've got proficiency bonuses. Oh my God, that's great. Yeah, let's just do that. Oh, I didn't even read the, I'm sorry. I'm worth more than a cut. I want half. 
<laughs> well, very convenient. Good roll. Half. You drugnin. Fine. Half it is. But first, we need to take care of something. You've seen that weird orb I floating about? Knife it. And don't get caught. I thought for That's sure he was going to turn on me. And we can't risk more twat songs showing up. You still standing about? Get on it. Mmm. Good. Drop it near the rubble when it's time. Flaming arrow or some such will set it off. Now move. You're hogging my air. Oh my god, the orb is watching us. The orb is like, uh, yeah, I just watched that entire conversation play out and you guys are screwed, okay? So there is a orb here, a scrying eye right here. We're gonna have to take out the scrying eye. Let's talk to the rest of these guys first. I wanna make sure I don't mess this opportunity up. It seems like blowing up the passageway with the explosive powder we have in our inventory is going to be huge, but how are we gonna get rid of this little scrying eye? That's the big question here. And I don't wanna blow up this area without removing the gnomes. I don't wanna accidentally blow up the gnomes. So let's talk to these guys, see if there's any way that I can get them to move themselves. Bugger off. You're distracting the slaves. They run, you're dead. Oh, oh, okay. Let's talk to the gnomes. Gnomes speak in soft whispers. The words all but lost in the hot air. Perception, eavesdrop on their conversation. Yeah. My rolls are on fire today. I'll never get through. We need that smoke powder. Finamine's gone. And if she's smart, she won't be coming back. Tell the sergeant where she went. Beltron's still trapped with that maniac near. Forget the smoke powder. They kill Phil on the spot. I won't let you do it. I'm a friend, Thula sent me. What's going on here? Intimidation, you mentioned the smoke powder details. Now, we already know, somebody ran off with some smoke powder. They're expecting her to come back. Persuasion, listen, I can help you. Act frightened or you'll draw suspicion. Yes. What an easy class difficulty. <laughs> I have so much, I have so many benefits and perks that sometimes when it feels easy, I'm like, mm, it should have given me a little bit of challenge. Praise Iron Hand. Lerida, our prayers are answered. Mom. Our friends are trapped in the cave-in, and I know a way to get them out. Bug, please. Truce or near will... You know what he'll do. Bug? That sounds like quite the drama. I can't wait to watch. Leave the true soul to me. Now tell me what you know. A terrible situation. I'm sure you'll pay handsomely if I... Ha nah, th leave the true soul to me. Now tell me what you know. Young Bug, don't. I've... I've got no choice, Lorida. We have to chance it. Yeah. A few days back, there was a... A scene. Our friend Philomene, she's a sapper, set off a blast and ran off. We set a spot for hiding if someone found trouble. I'll mark your map. If Philomene made it, you'll find her there. She'll have the stuff to blow that tunnel wide open and get Beldron and the rest out. Beldron. Do we know Beldron? Probably not. I'll do what I can. <clears throat> I have some explosive powder. I can use it to get them out. My hands are full as it is. Ask someone else. Excellent. I can add Philomena, Philomene's head to my collection. Yes. Always chaos on the table. Uh, I have explosive powder. I can use it to get them out. Incredible news. Drop it near the cave in and set it alight. Oh, we aren't just going to go talk to, or we aren't, we're not going to go get Philomene. Scrying eye. Can you bugger off? I get you're watching me and all. I wonder if like I can lead it somewhere else. Drop it to the near entrance of the cave. Does that mean I go behind the cave? There's also so many goodies in this area. I want all of it. Oh, the scrying eye is kind of following me. Can we talk to the scrying eye? You stare into the eye. Your reflection stares back. The longer you stare, the more uneasy you feel. There is a presence. You are seen. Reach out to the presence. Poke the eye. Smile and wave. Reach out to the presence. Your consciousness surges into the orb. First, there is blackness. Then, a pair of unblinking red eyes. Ooh, like, um, give me, giving me Sauron vibes. As the eyes stare into you. Then, look away. The connection is broken. 
Hmm. Red eyes is the only clue we have to the rest of this unfolding story. So the scrying eye seems to be paying very, very close attention to us. <laughs> it's just following us. Hey, if you're gonna follow me, I have no choice but to kill you. Right here, in fact. There is no one here. Save so I can kill the unscrying eye. Boop. Keep crying for- okay, no one noticed. Awesome. So we got rid of the scrying eye. Let's talk to these guys, see if I can maybe get more insight from the them. Clobbered. Good work. Time to bust near out and shred him. Any ideas on how I might do that? Some days back a slave gnome bolted with smoke powder. Handy stuff. Bet her crew know more than they're letting on. See if you can get him to talk. Once near's out. We'll pound him to powder and take our dues. So we knew that. Okay. I just I just bought a um book from this guy. I I don't usually trade with people that don't immediately say, hey, what do you want to trade? But I just picked up this journal from him. The clan's gone soft. Maybe even did I just buy this man's journal? <laughs> I thought it was some random book. I mean, if he's willing to part with his own journal, I mean, who am I to not read it? The clan's gone soft. Maybe even me. No way around it. I spent 10 tides in the dark lake with my head bowed to the exile. I spent 20 tides with pick and shovel in hand, mining for steel in Dunsparin. And for seven tides, I stood motionless between the block stones till the Thuldors released me. I was forged in Ludogor's fires. I learned to toil without complaint, to expect no reward without effort. Ludigar is a taskmaster. Master. We are his workers. This is our way. Oh, here's more about Nier. 50 wet seasons have passed since the Thordors refused to admit me. Thryn would have lifted mountains herself if Ludigar willed it. Now she canes slaves at the behest of this drow. But till I see the mountain of coin, I won't lift a damned finger or Thryn or that shit grinned Nier she's been fawning over. Is that his name? It is. So it is his... Is it? It is his journal. It's his actual journal. Let's just get in the habit of buying everyone's journals and lifting it off of them. That's that's a really good idea. Uh, Sergeant Thryn, what now? How is the digging going? Bare feet, I see. I nabbed these boots from a runaway gnome. Yours, perhaps? Is this how you welcome a true soul? A few of your clanmates are plotting to kill Nier. I noticed an orb flying around. Is this how you welcome a true soul? The power is on the stairs, but it's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories. Just an echo of scars that never healed. A true soul, eh? Useless wreck of a lookout could have told me. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed. Trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon. It's both our heads. Bare feet, I see. I nabbed these. I wonder if I do talk to her about these boots that we got from Thula, if if she's going to say anything about it. I don't really want to give her any advantage to the fight that's to come. I've got some explosive powder. That should do the trick. Sounds like you have a tough job ahead of you. Better hurry. Clearing that rubble will be no easy feat. Any ideas? Maybe we let her come to the conclusion to blow the tunnel first. I don't No, I've got explosive powder. Let's just do it. That's so. Set it near the rubble and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. So she's totally cool with me just... I don't want to... I don't want to blow these guys up by accident. I guess drop. Oh, they all... Oh, no. Hold on. I... <laughs> I didn't want to drop all of my gun, my gunpowder. But my question was answered. Drop item. Okay. So I dropped it. Is this even close enough? I don't even know. Hopefully it is. So I just have to throw something, a flaming arrow. Okay, let's let's go. Did it work? Oh, it did not in fact work. And now I'm on fire. I needed both gunpowders, really? Here we go. The drow is out. Finally. Worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been my ruin. No. No. Not Is there any way to save her? I feel bad. I don't want any more of these gnomes to die. Stop. No more innocents will die here today. You care for the weak true soul. 
Most curious. Okay, interesting tone of voice he took on. I came on the Mykonid Sovereign's behalf. It demands revenge. I act on orders of the Absolute. Can I convince this guy that this is the Absolute's will? Of course I care. I can't let these gnomes suffer. This isn't about them. I just can't stand your face. I act on orders of the Absolute. And so you say. And yet the Absolute demands that I cull them. Nuh-uh. Thryn, carve out her heart and serve it to the Rothe. If she indeed is a true soul, let the absolute save her. Oh, crap. Uh, you wouldn't dare. I'm faithful to the absolute. That's your cue, Brithvar. It's your time to... It's time you got paid. You so much as touched me, I'll tear you from li limb from limb. I'm assuming that Brithvar will come in anyways. I mean, I got a rogue response here. I'll slit your throats before you can blink. I don't... I want Brithvar's help. Oh god, this is gonna be a bloodbath. All right, I'll slit your throats before you can blink. I see your idiocy is surpassed only by your ego. Shut your shitholes! There we go. You. you owe my crew a ten days worth of coin, Nia. <laughs> and it's time you shell out. Direct your blade at the heretic, Dwergar. You shall have your coin. Nuh-uh. You're damn right I'll have it. Me and that one, we got a deal. Yeah, we do. We'll your ass and dig the juice out from your carcass. You bargained with this wretch. How vexing. How vexing. His tone of voice is so casual. It's not without mercy, true soul. The rat has given you a chance to earn. My hmm. Strike him down. Prove your faith. I don't know. He's turned to both him and me, and he hasn't gotten anything he's wanted. He was just he was just boasting that he would kill me. Why would I side with you if you just boasted to kill me? Side with the the Brithvar and the rebels. Heretics. Let me be your Wait, enemy. what? Wait, what? Why did Karlak disapprove? Oh, is it because she doesn't like slavers? Oh, I'm so curious now. What would have the other direction been? Um, I like that Nier is so far away. Why? <laughs> Why is he so far away? I like that Astarian is also always the first one to uh, go at this. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. You see it? Cock stench had a regular in his skull. All the more reason to clear out. Here's your cut. Dude, Thanks he actually to... he actually paid up. Clan, grab your gear, wipe your asses. Time I scrammed before more pricks from Moonrise Towers move in. Dude, they actually, he actually, I'm actually surprised he gave me the coin. I thought for sure they were going to turn on me. And the slaves, what about them? What makes Moonrise Towers such a threat? Your brain going mushy, Jarg. That's where those absolute freaks hold up. Goblins, drow, gnolls, even humans. Ain't no one they won't try to turn. The way I hear tell, some prick there calls the shots. The general near called him, and there ain't no way I'm sticking around long enough to meet him. Hmm. And the slaves, what about them? Clan property. They come with mm, us. No, they will not. Let the gnomes go. They'll just slow you down. Hmm. You got a point. Likely to be all hobbled up, what with the lashings. <laughs> No, no it's so sad. You're off the hook. Scram before I get my senses. I've never had this many companions though on my side. It's it's a really good feeling. Oh well, so I'm sorry. It was his sister that. Yeah. Dead by Nia's hand. Myrna. Oh, it's Myrna, not Myrna. Hmm. I, I wish I could have saved her. The decaying corpse lies before you. Strength, remove his head. <laughs> I have such bad strength. 
Okay, I didn't need I didn't need any bonuses though. That's good. Gruesome. The head breaks off cleanly from the drow's body. What a sauntering way. Aggressive that the Mike and it's wanted his head of all things. Look, a spider's leer. I've got that, broken moon lantern, the sword of screams, mind flare parasite, let's take it all. An object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. Is this the moon lantern? A thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. Broken. So much for protection from the shadow curse. What? Can I just... Yeah, Arcana. Examine the dust within the lantern. Or investigation. Yeah, probably Arcana. Man, my rolls have been good to me today. Let's just keep it's it going. Pixie dust. Used to illuminate a lamp. Or left behind after a pixie's death. Exa uh, I guess inspect the lantern for more detail? Oh, that's... You know, I had to just go and open up my big fat mouth and say that, oh, the rolls have been so good. About the lantern strikes you as unusual. Okay. Leave. I guess let's uh, loot around, shall we? Well, <gasps> you did it. I shouldn't be surprised considering our history. And yet, it's, this is this is the guy I've been looking for. The one at Barkus. I guess his name was Barkus. Don't sound so surprised. I did it, but not out of the kindness of my heart. You're free. Go on. Free. Y yes. I don't know if you've heard, but some of the Iron Hand gnomes, my friend Wolbrin among them, have been taken prisoner in Moonrise Towers. And so, to Moonrise Towers I go. Wait, wait. Is he gonna join us? The guy I've been looking for this whole time. I haven't really been looking for him, but for like the last three episodes, I keep being like, oh, is that the gnome we saved from the windmill? And now we found him. First things first, you looked exhausted. You should rest at my camp. I believe I'm destined for the towers as well. I'll look for your friends. Farewell, Barkus. I wish you luck with your search. Realistically, your friend is probably already dead. We told him that last time. He didn't listen. Do you know what Wolbrin and the others were doing down here? Iron Hand Loams. I recognize the name. They fight for gnomish recognition in the city, right? Their fight has little to do with freedom and everything to do with power. I told Walbrin not to go near them. But did he listen? He did not. Do you know what the Iron Hand gnomes were doing down here? No. He's lying. Mm, I like that I finally have been succeeding in these insight checks because I, I usually fail in the insights. I don't know why my insight's so low. First things first, you looked exhaust exhausted. You should rest at my camp. Certainly not. In case you haven't been paying attention, my friend has been taken captive. He needs me. I suspect I'll be rescuing you a third time then. This is no place to travel alone. Ha. I was unlucky twice. The odds of it happening again are very slim. You're starting to grate on my okay. nerves. A small rest might be prudent. Uh, give me time to think. Hmm. <laughs> He's actually thinking right now. <laughs> I thought he was going to take some time, walk away, come back. Go and I'll try my luck. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Walbrin if I'm at my best. I agree. And, um, thank you. Wow. A thank you from the gnome himself. Leaking no. locks isn't good for your health. Oh. God's about to make sure of it. No, no, no. Uh, talk your way out of it. Guys, I just did this. You really want to over a bit of lock picking? Oh my good god. Wow, I cannot believe that actually did it. I thought the math didn't add up for a second. Come on. Come on! Leave! Everyone leave so I can take this stuff. Please. Okay, I turned on turn-based mode real quick. So I'm gonna go invisible. And then I'm going to- I'm gonna open this freaking thing. Open. I can't- Okay. Uh, steal and add to wares. Come on! What? You can't see me. I'm invisible. I want to steal things in the chest. That's all I'm gonna say. I want to steal them. Also, this episode is going on far longer than I anticipated. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's actually gonna probably take me a while to edit. I just... I really want to finish out whatever is going on here, and I don't want to... 
Okay, you know what? What if I long rest? Are they all gonna be gone with their camp supplies? I'd be really disappointed if they did. We have so many people at our camp, it's adorable. I thank you for the invitation to your camp. It's, um, well appointed, not too crowded, perfect for thinking. And I've been doing just that. What about? I'm not sure I should trust Wolverine's fate to, well, me. Well, now you're starting to see what I've been trying to tell you. I'm destined for Moonrise Towers. I could look for him. Your friend can likely take care of himself. There's something else I want to discuss. Uh, I'm destined for Moonrise Towers. I could look for him. Hmm. You've done so much already. I'm hesitant to prevail upon you again, but I can't risk recapture. I barely escaped last time. True. You do it then. You'd look for him. I will. I'll let you know if I hear anything. No more, no less. I will. That's <clears throat> very decent of you. Thank you. There's something else you should know. Something I can no longer ignore. Rune powder. Do you know what it is? Mm, no. Other than a valuable explosive, perhaps not. I have a feeling you're about to tell me. A telepath. <laughs> Until very recently, I thought rune powder was a myth. <laughs> A substance so powerful it could fell a city, a nation. No, that's what's getting the Gale's heart. He's a bomb. Have proven the impossible. Rune powder is real, and they have it in their possession. What do they want to do with it? Where have they taken it? To Baldur's Gate, I expect. I don't know what they plan to do with it, but something of that power turned loose in the city. It could be carnage. Wolbrin must know their plans. And we must find him. Oh, we now? Oh, this is a this is an us thing. Oh, so let me get this straight. Mm, I told you so. It tastes so good sometimes. I'll find your friend and together we'll stop the Iron Hand gnomes. We can't count on Wolverine to... I'll find your friend and together we'll stop the Iron... I don't want to make things difficult. I'd kiss you, but neither of us deserve that. What? Thank you. Hold on. Oh, was that a compliment? Not compliment? Was he saying? Was he saying I could kiss you, but none of none of no one deserves that because he's not like super good looking or like he's it's, maybe it's like a diss on himself or was that a straight up diss on me? Because I'll have you know, sir, I am very roguishly charismatic. Okay, I could I'd kiss you, but neither of us deserves that. Maybe I think it's a diss on him. I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk it up to a diss on him. There's something else I'd like to discuss. Like what? What will you do if Wolverine is dead? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Can I? Can I romance Barkus? Is Barkus a romantical character? Can I romance him? Okay, I couldn't find anything on romancing him, but I'm confused because there's an option here that's like, tell me a little bit more about yourself. Barkus Root is my name. Maybe he's our merchant. Okay. What will you do if Wolverine is dead? I suppose I... I suppose I'd be very, very sad. Then, after a while, I'd find whoever killed him and put a smoke powder bomb in their trousers. He's kind of got like, he's worrying on me. He's got like a little heart of gold and he's giving me Hobbit vibes. Like, uh, you know, not like he, he's not much of a force to be reckoned with, but he wears his heart on his sleeve. You know, if you get to know him, he'll be like loyal to the end. You know, that's all we can talk to him about. Our camp is growing by the day. Astarian, what do you have to say? Hello, beautiful. Stop. I'm extremely surprised no one has thrown themselves at me yet. <laughs> the, I, <laughs> normally, I, by, by this point, someone's like, hey, get in my bed. I'm surprised and a little grateful. Oh boy, I really don't want to stop playing. <laughs> I'm just so into this. And we finally killed the drow guy. So we got to go back and talk to, we got to go back and talk to Spa. But we're also not done here. Oh my God, everybody left. Oh my god, everyone left. Yes, everyone left! I can steal everything! Well, it's actually probably not even considered stealing at this point. Deed of ownership. 
Let it be known from the fur. Let it be known from the far drim to the fair firelands, from Morn Diver to the spawning deep. The Iron Hand gnomes, with the blessings of the shield of the Golden Hills, declare possession of the tunnels, open spaces, peoples, and contents of the Underdark territory beneath the Western Heartlands. Ignore this deed under penalty of imprisonment or death. Approved and signed, Wolverine Bongle. That's our friend. That's the guy we're looking for. Ooh, I just picked up a Harper, Harper emblem. I'm kind of just like combing over the rest of the camp real quick just to see if I like, one, if I alerted the rest of the camp and then two, just to see if there was anything else worth looting. But I didn't get to pick up any of these drow bodies because everyone was like monitoring all the bodies. So I looked at this one. There's an executed drow. Here's a crease letter. Ham. Like a phoenix from the ashes, Grimforge has risen from the dead. I've word of a drow cultists gathering Dwegar in the old city's halls that the absolute means to recruit them. I've no doubt. Yet it's what they might seek amidst the ruins that most troubles me. You've not failed me yet. Go to Grimforge, cling to the shadow, and bring word of the cult's intentions to last, no last light. I will be waiting. I'm assuming I'm going to go find that person. Deep gnomes killed under the yoke of slavers hmm that's sad i will take the lives of those who took yours bow your head in respect no shops at the fugue plane why am i getting dialogue options here i might have a look in your pockets bow your head in respect they deserve <sighs> better than they got may they rest in peace Oh, garlic. Well, I'm still going to, I'm still going to loot them. <laughs> All right, let me in. What's going on in here? I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what's in this room. I, I can't figure out, there doesn't seem to really be anything in this room, except for silver. I mean, if I pick up these silver. Wait, what's what? What the, sometimes when I get like indicators, nothing happens, oh. Is it this door? Somebody, help. Hmm. Yes, it is. It's a button. <laughs> yes. I literally was like, oh, there's nothing in this room. Like zero anythings. A loose stones and traps. God, I, got, I can't stop playing. I need to stop. I smell a trap. Yeah, you're right. I bet that's a trap right there. Oh. Oh, ew. Ochre jelly? Okay, I was not expecting to fight anything. Now I really need to be done. <laughs> I'm gonna loot my jelly prizes and then we'll be good. Okay, really ominous, scary looking door. I'm gonna save and we're gonna end here because now I am getting into the thick of wherever this is. I just, I don't know. I didn't expect anything to be back here. Going into that room started a whole new set of questions appearing into this room here yeah but that's a fight all right intricate door we are done i'm so sorry future editing me i'm so sorry this was such a long episode i can't help it this game gets like when it gets good it just really sucks you in and i think where i'm having the most fun now finally is all of so sometimes i take like 30 minutes to just like sit there and piece together a certain equipment but all the rogue stuff I thought was going to be my downfall in this game. I really thought that by being a rogue, I was at a massive disadvantage. Every rogue response, every rogue attack wallops. It packs such a punch when you have advantage. And I mainly have advantage all the time. And the drow hood that I have allows me to go invisible. No, it's not. There's a ring I have that allows me to go invisible. So I'll just go invisible, hide, and then I have advantage on my sneak attack or a stealth ranged attack. And so my attacks pack at least 15 to 20 hit points. Astarian packs massive punch, holy cow. And he has an additional bite and he's got that additional cunning action dash or stealth attack with the dagger that I gave him to silence people. It doesn't do very much damage, but he gets that as an additional on top of attack. So he gets like three attacks. Karlak gets like three attacks because he's she's a berserker. Shadowheart's the only one that's kind of lacking in moveset, but she's kind of just our, our cleric a little bit. She's just our healer. Right now, my companions, my four companions are the equivalent to six people because of how many double movesets we get. And so I just had so much fun in that fight because it's like, 
It's almost not fair. So I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys are as well. And if you are, do not forget to subscribe for more Baldur's Gate. We do have Valheim coming up, so you won't want to miss that. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.